Okay, everybody, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz, and today we're doing a review on the Eheim Skim 350. The Fish Room, helping you keep beautiful aquariums. Alright, so what is the Eheim Skim 350? Basically, it's a surface skimmer that you put in your aquarium that takes all the stuff off the top of your aquarium. Uh, it can be used in both salt water and fresh water, but today I'm going to be using it in fresh water only. And what I'm trying to achieve is to see if I can get all the little bits of leaves and little bits of peat and stuff like that that I've got floating around in my aquarium off the top of it to give it a far nicer look. So let's unbox this bugger and get into it. Alright, so it's got a three year guarantee, which is awesome. It's five watts, so it's quite low on power consumption. It's good for a 350 litre aquarium or 93 gallons, which is great because the aquariums I'm doing is 200 litres. It's 300 litres per hour, fresh and marine. Let's go. Instructions. Looks like a very small little power head. And a little thing that goes up and down. And a few suction cups. Pretty simple design. Not much more I can sort of show you about it, to be honest. Looks like my turn it go stronger. We'll turn it down lower. Alright, put the suction cups on, I'll put it in the aquarium, let's see if it goes. Alright, so we are in. Assembly took about 30 seconds, maybe a little bit longer. It wasn't very long. It was just literally putting three suction cups on, which are now on and it's now attached to the aquarium. So let's plug it in and see what happens. We're plugged. And I can definitely see things being drawn into it. As you can see, with actually bubbles getting attracted to it. Coming under through here now, there's going to be a bunch of leaves. I can see water movement from the entire aquarium, even from the furthest corner away. I can actually see stuff being drawn into it and moving around, which was not moving around before. There we go, with the leaves, duckweed, see ya later. Happy days. Goodbye, duckweed. All right. Doesn't really make any noise, might as well consider it silent, which is great. It's got a seriously good draw. I was a little bit apprehensive, I thought it may not get the stuff from further away, but so far it's had no issues. Now it's going to get the bigger stuff. So it looks like it's going to struggle with the slightly larger bits of stuff coming through. But the smaller stuff is devouring in absolutely no time. I am pretty impressed with this, to be completely honest with you. I didn't expect it to do quite that well. I'm curious to know how long it takes to clean up the rest of this aquarium. I've just planted this, so there's quite a bit of floating leaves and stuff around it. Um, it's making short work at the moment. I'm wondering if there's bigger bits that we might clog, clog it up a little bit. I'm not sure. I can see, looking down on it through here, you can see this little flow of water coming out, and it's uh, pushing some of the leaves around of the plants that are in front of it, which is quite cool as well. All right, brilliant. So here's a bit of a front-on action shot. As I said before, you can see that it's leaves that have been pushing around from the little pump itself. Uh, I don't actually think that it's producing, in fact it's not producing any air bubbles, it just looks like it's producing air bubbles because a lot of air bubbles are sitting over the plants that were planted this morning. It's just blowing them around as opposed to producing air bubbles itself. Alright, so I've taken it out and put it into this other aquarium that's got a bunch of peat hanging around on it. It's 
seems to be being just as efficient on the peat as what it was on the smaller bits of leaves. It's definitely drawing, drawing in, which I quite like. I think this is a pretty good gadget. I really do. Um, I might have to invest in a second one for both of these aquariums. I think it's actually quite brilliant. Although I do wonder how long until it cleans everything up and it's not needed. Let's see if we can move a bit more peat about. Check out what it does. Oops, shaking it up a bit. Doesn't like sloshing water by the look of it. Definitely plenty being drawn into it. It's moving the water really well. What if I drop it down? That makes any difference. It's got quite a decent um, sort of shaft on that uh, catching area. It's definitely still drawing it in. I really like this. I'm really happy. Doing what it's meant to do, it's doing what it says it's going to do. I'm curious to know how long it will take to draw everything off it. Um, whether it's a couple of hours or whether it's pretty quickly. And I'm also curious to know whether I need to have it running all the time or not. Okay, so let's clean it out. So it cleans out just like an internal filter. It's pretty simple and very handy. In fact, you can probably use it like a nano internal filter if you wanted to. And put it back together. Ah, sausage fingers don't like that. Pretty easy to pull apart, put back together and clean out. I got all that muck there out of about 10 minutes. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Alright, so what do I think of the Home Skim 350? I like it. I really, really like it. Um, I'm definitely going to be investing in another one for the second aquarium, so I've got one on each of them. It's low power consumption. Uh, just watching it like that, seeing it draw stuff off the surface was fantastic. It worked straight away, straight out of the box. It's really, really easy to put it together. And I think it's going to make life just a little bit easier, not having to pick out bits of leaves and stuff like that off the top all the time. I'm running sponge filters in here, not sumps or canisters or something like that. Might be a little bit different if you're running canisters or hang-on backs, but for sponge filters, they obviously don't have that uh, massive mechanical filtration ability. This is going to pick up the slack, so I'm really happy with that. Overall, simple to put together, it works really well, it's low power consumption, and I like that little bonus of moving the water around a little bit more. You can put maybe a bit of a cross push against it, I've got a water mover in one of the tanks, I might sort of cross against that to, to move around or continue on the flow. Uh, overall, I'm really happy with this. It's got to be in the nine somewhere. I would definitely buy another one. I'm going to buy another one, and I'm going to have two of these running on these tanks in no time. If you're having any trouble with things being built up on the top of your aquarium, um, maybe give this a go. So a while ago we did a little video on how to stop the protein build up on the top of your aquarium. Basically saying adjust your outlet nozzle a little bit. I think this little doohickey here would do the exact same job. I don't have a build up to check on at the moment, but if I do get another in home soon I will definitely check. But I reckon this bad set here will do the exact job that you would need it to do in that situation as well. So if you've loved it, sub it. 
If you want to watch another video, check it out out there, down there, or down there. Have a good one, guys. Happy fish, Kevin. Catch you later.